Hello, everybody. Leo Laporte here. I'm your tech guy. Today, using your voice assistant as an intercom. As the Tech Guy comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. Now, you're focused on security, but are your employees LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether employees are working in the office or remotely, visit LastPass.com slash Twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. Visit LastPass.com slash Twit. Hey, everybody, Leo Laporte here. Hope you had a great week. Happy Monday. Uh, and a question from Ivis. Dear Leo, I've listened to you dozens of times. Thanks for a great show. My elderly mother lives with me, and I'm looking for some kind of a walkie-talkie for her to be able to call me in the middle of the night from her room. She's legally blind, so she won't be able to press any buttons. Do you know of something reliable I can use for this purpose? Thank you. I do, Ivis. Uh, and in fact, you may already have it. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Um, you can get an intercom or a walkie-talkie on an Apple Watch, press a button, talk. Uh, but I think you could, of course, have walkie-talkies that she could just press. She wouldn't even have to dial or a number or anything. Just turn it on or you can even leave it on and she could press it. You could even put a baby monitor in her room. Uh, that would work fine. And if she shouts in the middle of the night, you'll hear it. But I like this solution. And this is kind of a more general solution. All the voice assistants now support intercom features. In fact, Apple, which was the last holdout, just announced at their iPhone event last month that their new uh, Apple HomePod Mini will support this feature. And I, I, I bet the HomePod, the big boy, will too. These minis are only 100 bucks. They look like little scented candles. You could put one in each room. And they're going to have an intercom feature later this year. If you have an Amazon Echo, as little as $30, or one of the Google Assistant voice devices uh, like this one, again, they're as inexpensive as $30. In fact, in many cases, they're free. You could put one in each room. And in every case, whether it's Siri, Echo, or the Google Voice, there's a command that will let your mother call you and you'll hear it through the voice, um, through the speaker. The commands vary depending on the device you're using. Both Echo and Google support the announce command. So you could say, and forgive me uh, if you have a Google listening right I won't say Google, I'll say Goo Goo, okay? You could say, hey, Goo Goo, announce that breakfast is ready. And all of the Goo Goos in your house will go, Breakfast is ready. <laughs> you can use shout, announce, tell everyone, or broadcast. And if you have individual devices, you can even give them names. And so you could say, tell mom breakfast is ready. Or mom could say, uh, call Ivis, I'm, I need help. But uh, you will have to explain to her that she has to ex yell this specific command and again, the command varies depending on your device, whether it's Hey Echo or Echo or Hey Goo Goo or uh, Hey Shlomo, whatever you want to call the S-I-R-I. -I. I, I don't want to trigger this uh, for people who are listening at home, especially since a lot of people listen to our podcasts on these devices. I don't want to interrupt the show while the device announces that breakfast is ready to everybody else in the house. But these devices work pretty well. In fact, I think this is one of the features uh, that uh, is widely used. I, I expect it is because Apple has announced that they too are going to start doing this. It's a nice feature. And in fact, uh, you'll find uh, that your mom can find other uses for the Echo. My mom has an Echo. She can use it to place phone calls. So she can even say, you know, there's a set up step. I have to be in her phone book, et cetera. But she can even say, uh, call Leo and my echo will ring and she can have a phone conversation with me they can it can call emergency services which is very handy so if you don't answer your mom can actually use the echo or the google voice to make a phone call and say i need help um, it can also do things like play music uh, set a timer my mom it's great my mom uh who's 87 uh, her shower, she lives in New England in an older house. It takes a while to warm up. So she'll turn on the shower and she'll say, hey, Echo, set a timer for 20 seconds so that she doesn't forget she's got the shower running. 
that kind of thing. <laughs> There's a lot of uses for it. And I find that, uh, especially for people who are disabled in some way, like uh, your, your mom is, she's blind, that these devices, because they're completely voice operated, are often really a great, a great tool uh, for people without sight. Um, I think you should probably take a look at it. They're fairly inexpensive if you shop around. Um, it, which one you get should depend a little bit on which features you want. I find the Google Assistant is the best with facts. You can ask all sorts of things. I, I was, I'm always amazed. My wife really likes to ask uh, for facts. We were making a cake last night, and uh, I said, how many grams in a pound? And it tells you. It'll do the math for you. So if you like facts, Google's good. If you're all involved in the uh, Amazon ecosystem, the Amazon Echo is great for Amazon Music, Audible Books, even buying things on Amazon. I use my Amazon Echo. Um, I'm in the bathroom. I use the last razor blade. I'll say, hey, Echo, order razor blades. And based on my previous order history, I can actually buy them using the Amazon Echo. Siri is a little bit of the laggard, uh, but Apple seems to be improving her capabilities. She's great for music if you use Apple Music, and apparently Apple's going to be starting to add other services like Amazon Music and Pandora. Uh, we gave an Echo to my uh, in-laws, my wife's uh, parents, uh, and they just love saying, hey, uh, Echo, play Elvis. They just love that. And then Elvis music comes out of the speaker. Really, I think a great tool for somebody like your mom who, who can't use a computer, can't use a smartphone, but she could use a voice assistant. Thanks for the question. I really appreciate it. Our show today brought to you uh, as it always is, by LastPass. LastPass can help you manage identities and promote good security behaviors while your employees are remote. You want your employees to have secure password storage? Well, LastPass gives them their own vault for storing every app and web login they use. So they'll always have their passwords with them and can gain access from anywhere from any device. You know, working remotely should add convenience, not add frustration. Rest easy knowing your business is secure with LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. And that's Ask the Tech Guy for this week. If you've got a question for me, Leo Laporte, just email askthetechguy at twit.tv. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Monday on Ask the Tech Guy. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.